Have you ever wondered where the edge of the universe is? A thought that has likely crossed the minds of most who have gazed up at the night sky. A question that has intrigued humankind for centuries. The edge of the universe, if such a place exists, is not merely an abstract concept. It's a topic that stirs our curiosity and prompts us to question our place in this vast cosmos. In our quest to comprehend the universe, we've journeyed far beyond our own blue planet, ventured into the depths of space, and uncovered fascinating truths about our cosmic neighborhood. But the edge of the universe remains a tantalizing mystery, an enigma that challenges our understanding of space and time. So, where is the edge of the universe? What does it look like? Does it even exist? These are profound questions, questions that push the boundaries of our knowledge and imagination. Before we delve into this cosmic riddle, let's understand what we mean by the universe. To understand the edge of the universe, we first need to know what the universe is. In its simplest form, the universe is everything that exists. It's all space and time, and everything within them. This includes the smallest particles of matter that we can't even see, to the vast, sprawling galaxies that are light years away from us. It's the planets, stars and galaxies, of course, but it also includes all other forms of matter and energy, from the tiniest neutrinos to the most massive black holes, from the faintest whispers of cosmic radiation to the dazzling light of a supernova. The universe is a grand cosmic ballet, an intricate dance of matter and energy, space and time. So when we talk about the edge of the universe, we're not talking about a physical edge like the edge of a cliff or the border of a country. We're talking about the boundaries of all that exists. Now that we have a basic understanding of the universe, we can start to explore its boundaries. Did you know our universe is expanding? Yes, you heard it right. It's not sitting still, it's stretching out, like a balloon being inflated. It's a concept that has fascinated astronomers and space enthusiasts for decades, and one that has significant implications for our understanding of the universe's edge. The idea of an expanding universe was first proposed by the Belgian astronomer Georges Lemaitre in the early 20th century. He suggested that if galaxies are moving away from us, then they must once have been closer together. This idea was later supported by Edwin Hubble's observations, which showed that galaxies were indeed receding from each other. But what does this mean for the concept of an edge to the universe? Well, if the universe is expanding, it implies that it's getting larger. So the edge of the universe, if it exists at all, is constantly moving outwards. But here's the thing. Even as the universe expands, it doesn't necessarily mean that an edge is being created. Imagine a balloon with dots drawn all over it. As the balloon inflates, all the dots move away from each other. But does the balloon have an edge? Not really. It has a surface, a boundary, but no edge as such. The universe could be similar. It's possible that our universe is infinite, stretching out in all directions without end. In this case, the idea of an edge becomes meaningless, or it could be finite, but without a boundary, like the surface of a sphere. In this scenario, the universe would have no edge because there would be no end point, no matter how far you traveled. This concept of an expanding universe challenges our perception of space and time. It raises questions about our place in the cosmos and the nature of reality itself. And while it may seem a bit mind-boggling, it's just another reminder of the fascinating, complex and ever-changing universe we live in. With the universe constantly expanding, the idea of a fixed edge becomes even more enigmatic. When we talk about the edge of the universe, we're often referring to the observable universe. Now, what does this mean? Well, the observable universe is the region of space that we can, quite simply, observe. This is determined by the speed of light, 
and the age of the universe. So, when we gaze up at the night sky, we're actually looking back in time. The light from distant stars and galaxies has taken billions of years to reach us. That's why the observable universe is also referred to as our light cone, or past light cone. But here's the twist. The observable universe is not the whole universe. The whole universe is believed to be much larger, possibly infinite. It contains regions that are simply too far away for their light to have reached us yet. So the edge of the universe is more about what we can see and measure, rather than a physical boundary. But what lies beyond the observable universe? This question takes us into the realm of the unknown, the unobservable, and the unfathomable. It's a leap into the deep cosmic ocean where our current scientific understanding and tools cannot help us reach yet. But that doesn't mean we are without theories or ideas. One such idea is the concept of a multiverse, an ensemble of countless universes, including ours, existing side by side. Yes, you heard it right, multiple universes. Imagine each universe with its own laws of physics, its own time and space, possibly even its own dimensions. Some could be similar to ours, while others could be wildly different, teeming with possibilities that defy our understanding. This idea isn't just a wild speculation. It's a serious proposition put forth by many respected physicists. It's a conclusion that springs from the theories of cosmic inflation and quantum mechanics. According to these theories, during the Big Bang, different regions of space-time could have expanded at different rates, leading to separate bubble universes. Each of these bubbles could have developed its own unique properties, resulting in a multiverse. But here's the catch. These bubble universes, if they exist, are likely beyond our observable universe, unreachable and unobservable, at least with our current technology and understanding. It's a tantalizing prospect, but also a frustrating one. There are other theories too. Some suggest an infinite universe that goes on forever with no edge or boundary. Others propose a cyclic universe where big bangs and big crunches happen in a never-ending cycle. While these theories are fascinating, they remain unproven. We don't know if they're right. We don't know if they're wrong. All we know is that they exist as ideas, waiting to be tested, waiting to be proven or disproven. So what lies beyond the observable universe? A multiverse? An infinite universe? A cyclic universe? Or something else entirely? Something we haven't even thought of yet? The truth is, we don't know. The true edge of the universe remains a mystery. The edge of the universe is a paradox, both existing and not existing at the same time. Now, isn't that a fascinating conundrum? In our quest to understand the cosmos, we've stumbled upon a paradox that challenges our perception of reality. Just imagine, if you will, standing on the edge of a cliff, peering out into the vast expanse of the universe. But instead of a definitive edge, a precipice where everything ends, there's just more universe. This is because our universe doesn't have an edge in the traditional sense. It's not like a book with a beginning and an end, or a race with a starting line and a finish line. But here's where the paradox comes in. While the universe doesn't have an edge in a physical sense, it does have a boundary in terms of our ability to observe and understand it. This is called the observable universe. Beyond this point, the light has not had time to reach us, and hence, we can't see or detect anything. It's like a cosmic horizon beyond which we can't peer. In a way, this observable universe creates an edge, but it's not an edge in the traditional sense. It's more of a limit to our current technological capabilities and understanding of physics. It's a frontier that keeps expanding as our technology advances and our understanding deepens. This is the paradox of the universe's edge. It exists as the boundary of our observation and understanding, yet it doesn't exist as a physical limit 
or edge. It's an ever-moving goalpost, a mystery wrapped in an enigma, a riddle that we're still trying to solve. The edge of the universe is like a cosmic puzzle, a paradox that challenges us to push the boundaries of our knowledge and understanding. It's a reminder that there's always more to learn, more to discover, and more to understand. The edge of the universe, therefore, is not a place, but a limit to our knowledge and understanding. The quest to find the edge of the universe is a journey, not a destination. As we take a step back to reflect on our cosmic voyage, we've unraveled intriguing concepts that challenge our understanding of the universe. We started by defining the universe, then delved into its expansion, a phenomenon that continues to baffle scientists to this day. We've gazed into the observable universe, that tiny fraction of the cosmos within our view, and probed even further to what lies beyond. We've grappled with paradoxes, those perplexing puzzles that make the cosmos such a fascinating mystery. Yet, our journey is far from over. In the realm of cosmic exploration, we're still in the early stages. Our understanding of the universe is continually evolving, shaped by new discoveries and innovative theories. As we push the boundaries of our knowledge, we're reminded that the universe isn't simply a destination, but an ongoing expedition. As we continue to explore and learn, who knows what amazing discoveries await us beyond the edge of the known universe?